Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn the go to statements. Now, this particular statement is not really widely used. I find this feature really useful, but many programmers don't use it. I don't know why, but I really find a lot of use out of it. So, basically, what a go to function or the go to statement does is transfers the control to a particular checkpoint. Basically, for example, if you're over here, alright, and you want to go back over here then you can use the go to function it's basically you mark the checkpoint and whenever you want to go there you just type in a small code and it would go over there so you in order to use the go to statement you need to use something called a label the label is your checkpoint it means you mark that point and you can access that point whenever you want in the program so i'm going that thing is known as a label so you mark a labels like this okay name of the label and the colon in the front this is basically the checkpoint or the uh, bookmark if you want to call it okay so this is a safe point that's going to be over there now let's say I used this program in the previous tutorial which was of guessing the magic number basically it was assigning a random number to magic you guessed the number and if it's same it would print you guessed it if not it would print it's wrong okay it's really that simple but what if I want that if I guess the number wrong I wanna go back over here and guess the magic number once again okay if I want to do that all I need to do is type in over here go to the name of the label which I named it label and the semicolon so now if I run the program you will see it says guess the magic number and if I guess it wrong okay wrong guess the magic number again it starts all over again it's working like a loop without a loop basically when if I ent enter the wrong number okay it would go all the way up over here and start executing the statements again and then check this if it is true then do this if it's false print this and go back to the function to the label now do keep this in mind you can name the label anything it's I have just named it label just so you can understand it you can even name it Yoda or anything like that. Let's see, I'm gonna run it with the label Yoda in it so you can see that there's no need to name it label. So if I run it, as you can see it plainly works perfectly fine. And if I enter a right number, you say it guessed it, but it it's not gonna do anything else. It's just gonna perform the go to fun statement whenever it this statement becomes false and it executes the else part. So it would go back wherever you have marked the checkpoint or wherever you have placed the label. So basically it's transferring the control of the program to that label and then it will execute in that particular order. It's really that simple. So anyway, this has been Channel to Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.